Swinburne University of Technology. Hi, and welcome to this podcast on the installation of the tools we're going to need for programming in Linux, the introduction to programming unit. So what do we need to install? Well, with Linux, it's not too much, so it won't be too onerous to do this. Other operating systems, not so easy, but this should be pretty simple. What we're going to install is the Synaptic Package Manager. We're going to use that to install the Free Pascal compiler. We're going to use a, a deb file to install Sublime Text 3, along with uh, package control inside Sublime Text and export to HTML. And then I'll show you how to use these tools to create a Hello World program. Uh, with this, we are using Ubuntu as the Linux distribution. If you're using something else, then hopefully this will be beneficial anyway. All right, to start off with, the Synaptic Package Manager. So we can use the Ubuntu Software Center to install this. If you just open that and search for Synaptic, choose Install, wait a few seconds, and we have the Synaptic Package Manager. We could install this from the command line, but I thought I'd show you how to install it with the graphical tool. We'll have a look at installing things from the command line in a future podcast. All right, now the Free Pascal compiler. So we're gonna be using Pascal at the start of the unit. We need the Free Pascal compiler. So open up the Synaptic Package Manager. You'll have to authenticate. Uh, search for FPC. So FPC being the Free Pascal Compiler. When you find that, select it and mark it for installation. And then click Apply to install it. And this will install the Free Pascal Compiler along with the various tools that it needs uh, in order to compile your programs. So that'll take a little bit. When that's finished, we can move on. All right, next is the uh, Sublime Text text editor. So this is a graphical text editor. It comes with a lot of plugins, uh, makes it really good for editing code. Uh, there's a, a Debian file, a deb file you can use. So just double click that. It'll open up in the Ubuntu uh, Software Center. Choose Install. And in a few minutes, you'll have Sublime Text installed. So we're getting pretty close. Okay, now to install package control. Open your web browser and search for Sublime Text Package Control. When you get the Google page, that lists that, it should show you the installation page directly. Go straight to that page, save a bit of time. And what we can do is if you scroll down, you can see that it gives you some code that you need to run in order to install package control. So it's actually really simple. If you just copy that text, just select it all, right click and copy or control C, command C, etc., to copy, then switch back to sublime text. And from view, show the console. And this is where we can type some commands directly. So if we paste that command into that, wind, that little text box down the bottom there, press enter, then it will install package control. So it's not too hard. You've just got to wait a little bit. Uh, once it seems to have installed correctly, this one doesn't show you much progress, but it'll take a few, maybe a minute or two to install. Once it's done, uh, you've got package control installed. So hide the console and we can now use package control to install another another package. So package control is a utility that lets us install what are called packages inside Sublime Text. And these packages add extra features to the text editor. And the one that we need is the feature that allows us to export our code to HTML. One thing that Sublime Text doesn't have is the ability to print things directly. So what we're gonna do is export our code to HTML and then use your web browser to print it to a PDF file, which you can then submit 
uh, as part of your, your weekly assessment for the unit. All right, so inside Sublime Text, to run the different commands inside Sub Sublime Text, what we do is hold down three keys. On Linux, you need to hold down Control Shift P. With those keys held down, it'll pop up a little box into which you can type the command that you want to execute. So we're going to use package controls install package command. We could type any part of that. Probably the easiest bit is to type install. So type install and you should see the option package control install package. Select that and press enter. That will run that command. This brings up another menu once it's updated the packages. And that menu allows you to select which package you want to install. So you can have a look through there. There's heaps of stuff that you can install. It's a Sublime Text is a really great text editor to use. In this case, we want the export HTML package. So type export, and you should be able to see export HTML. Uh, select that, press enter, and it will go ahead and install the export HTML package. You can, you can see the progress this time down the bottom left. So that's nice. You'll see that install we're all done. We'll show you how to use this in a minute when we do uh, a walkthrough of the of the language and the tools. All right, now we can use all of this stuff we've installed to create a program. So open Sublime Text and we can create a new file and we'll save it as hello world.pas. PAS stands for Pascal and that will tell Sublime Text that this is Pascal code and it will syntax highlight that uh, with that language, with the rules for that language. One thing to make sure you do is don't put a space. So it's not hello space world, it's hello world, one word, dot PAS. So it's all just one word. Uh, the terminal and lots of programs you run from the terminal are difficult to, to work with if there are spaces in file names or spaces in path names. Uh, so avoid spaces pretty much for all file names. All right, I'm going to save mine into the desktop, but you might want to save yours into a documents, my documents folder or something like that. All right, we can now type in our program's code. And as you do this, you should see this, the, the text editor highlighting different parts of the text in different colors. Uh, this is because it understands the Pascal programming language and can therefore use that to give you some feedback on how you're going. So this program is program hello world semicolon, we then have begin. I usually put the end in straight away. The end matches the begin, so we start at the begin, we end at the end, put a full stop at the end, uh, and we will run one instruction, which is to call the write line procedure. So we type write line, write ln, no spaces notice, open brackets, and then in single quotes, we'll put the text hello world exclamation mark, close brackets, semicolon. So that tells, well, that's our instructions to the compiler for what we want the program to do when it creates it. All right, now we've got our code, save that file. Uh, use Control S or Command S on Mac. Uh, alternatively from the file menu, but get used to the shortcut keys, it'll save you time. All right, now that file's saved, we need to compile the program. So you need to do this from the terminal. So open the terminal. On Windows, use uh, msys uh, or the mingw terminal. And we need to cd to the location where you've saved the files. So I'm going to cd to my desktop. On Linux or Mac OS, it would just be cd space forward slash users forward slash akane forward slash desktop. And I can just usually shortcut that on, on Linux and on Mac just by using CD desktop as I'll start in the users akane directory. All right, now let's use the compiler to compile our program. Run fpc space minus s2. That's an uppercase s, not a lowercase one. Uppercase s2 and hello world dot pass. Right, that tells the compiler to run or to run itself. So we're running the compiler. The dash s2 gives it uh, options to tell it how we want it to compile the file. And s2 stands for a more advanced version of the syntax. So syntax 2, not, not the basic syntax, but the more advanced syntax. 
and hello world.pass is the file that we're going to compile. So it's going to compile the hello world.pass file and create a program for us. So when that runs, you can see we've got a hello world executable created on my desktop. So we can run that from the terminal dot forward slash hello world and press enter. You could double click the file as well, but the terminal window will probably close straight away so you won't actually see what it's done. So it's easy to run it in this terminal. Okay, so that's creating a program, compiling it. The other thing that you'll need to do as part of the, the subject or part of the, a unit will be to submit code. And when we submit the code, what we're going to want is a PDF version of the code so that we can annotate it to give you feedback, etc. So go back to Sublime Text and press Control Shift P on Windows and Linux or Command Shift P on Mac OS. And this will bring up that menu of commands that we can tell Sublime Text. And we want to select the export to HTML command. So type export and you should be able to see an option called export to HTML show export menu. Select that one. And then we're going to, you get a list of options. Uh, I'll select uh, browser view color on Mac and Windows or sublime view color on Linux. So with Mac and, and Windows, that will actually open up your code as HTML in the browser, which is really cool. It will have all the syntax highlighting, will have line numbers for your fancy, all singing or dancing, etc. Uh, and we can then print that to a PDF. On Linux, it will open up the HTML code and we can then right click that and view that in the browser. Okay, to print to PDF, what we can do is use the browser. So I'm using Firefox in this case. So from the print menu, choose print to file, type in a file name, click print. Presto, we have a PDF copy of our code, nicely syntax highlighted, etc. And that PDF file is what you would submit uh, in order to get feedback. All right, we're done. So we've had a look at all of the tools that you need to install and you've seen how to use Sublime Text to write your code and to export that code to HTML. We've seen how to use the terminal to compile your program uh, using the Free Pascal compiler and how to run that program. And we've looked then at using the web browser to print your code to PDF. But with That's pretty much everything we need to be able to do. Now we can focus on what we actually do inside that program's code. And that will be what this unit's all about. So thank you very much. I hope that helps. And if you have any problems with the installation, uh, feel free to, to contact us on the discussion board, etc. All right, good luck. This has been a Spindoin production.